happy Monday. You're rocking it out, aren't you? Yeah, I'm playing my uh, little <laughs> Moroccans. Yeah. Your air drums. Um, so <laughs> I, I got an email today from one of my kids' teachers, and in it he said, it's amazing how uplifting a single day of sunshine can be when the skies have been so gray and cloudy the whole week, and I think that's so true. Amen. Seriously, <laughs> yesterday, like, Sitting out, I actually had a chance to sit outside for a little bit, and I think I got a little sunburned. I put on a little bit of sunscreen, but yeah. just that, you know, your skin feeling that warmth, uh, and it just it felt it's wonderful. Nice. I felt rejuvenated. I mm -hmm. did, too. Yep. It's true. One of the things I did this week, and I did go out, and I had to uh, get some groceries, and I think it's always a little nerve-wracking when people do that. And then you kind of get home. You think about how do I have to clean everything? What do I need to do, right? Do you do that? Do you clean your stuff when you get it home? Yes, I sanitize it all. I leave it, the bags on the floor. I wash off the surface, and I go through each thing and put it on the clean surface once it's clean. And then I do separately produce and herbs and things like that. Well, it's interesting because I started thinking like, A, how many of these things are we going to continue to do once all this is over, right? Just because they're going to be so ingrained in us. Yeah. Um, but this is what the food safety experts are saying. It's interesting. They're talking about using soapy water on your produce. And I thought this was interesting because I didn't know what to do. They're advising against doing that. So, you know, and they basically say, because if you then consume that soap, you can get sick. You can, you know, vomit, oh. get sick, you know, whatever. And it could sort of mimic your feelings of COVID. And so they would worry about that. Um, but they say it also impacts the flavor, obviously, of your produce. So what do they say? The because other... I've heard people say either vinegar or like there's some fruit, you know, there's some produce sprays. That's what I have. And I think that's what you should probably get is the produce spray. But here's what they say, the temperature also, because people are wondering, you know, when you wash your hands, does it need to be really hot or do you have to mm -hmm. wash your produce with hot? They say all you have to do is simply rub your produce while rinsing it with running water and it can just be warm, warm or cool. It doesn't have to be hot because for you to actually use the temperature of hot water to kill germs, it would have to be so scalding. You would burn your hands, burn the produce. So just simply rub it. If you've got something that's a little bit harder, like a melon, they say you can use a scrub brush, but otherwise simply running it under the water is good enough. Interesting. I didn't think you were going to yeah. say that. I thought maybe you'd say I vinegar know. or something like that. Nope, that's not what they're saying here. Nope. Interesting. So you know, I thought that was interesting. Yeah, it just kind of it relieved me a little bit that I didn't have to do so much when I get home. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and the soap, I do feel it's really hard to get off. So I'm kind of relieved that they don't suggest using soap. Nope. Yeah. Um, so a lot of people right now are doing home improvement projects. People are just rushing to hardware stores to tackle these projects. Constant. And it makes sense because we're all at home. And so that honey-do list is like, <clears throat> when are you going to get to that? You know? So there was I this... Know. There was this nationwide survey and they found that 48% of people see this as an opportunity to get to some of those projects. About half of them say that those are projects they have been putting off. Um, but one of the big things people are doing, 39% of people are organizing closets and pantries and 25%, a quarter of people are doing what I'm doing. And that is trying to sort through paperwork and documents oh. and stuff like that. Seriously, I went through like my, I have like this, it would be like an armoire, I guess, for lack of a better word, but it's um, it's got all my office papers in it. And some of these papers, as I went through it, I mean, they date back to like 2001, where I'm like, why am I saving this? So I actually went through, I threw away and shredded and then recycled probably two full, like huge bags of papers the other day. Yeah, I mean, it feels good to get rid of that stuff. I'm sure it's like if it's yes. sensitive documents, you should shred them. But it, feel, it feels like a huge weight lift to go through paperwork. Absolutely. There's so much of that. The other thing I felt the other day, I was looking around my place like, what should I do next? I'm like, I think I need to redo my bedroom. Like, I'm thinking like, you know, because now we're spending so much time at home. Yeah. Like, maybe I need a new comforter. Do I need new colors, new pillows? What's happening? You exactly. Know? Like well, even just that redecorator and reorganizing or whatever it may be. I've done most drawers by now. So it's like I've moved on to things like redecorating. Just pillows are plenty. Yeah, that's one of the things that they say, and it was an idea I read, was, you know, hang artwork that has been sitting around kind of doing yeah. that decorating. Or use up a, a spare can, a can of paint. You could do just a door, one wall. You could repaint furniture. That's kind of fun. I want to get that sticky wallpaper. So instead of behind my, my headboard, instead of finding new artwork or something, I want to do like a cool textured you know, wallpaper or something. Yeah, that was kind of my cute. idea. Yeah, I yeah. like that idea. Or planting. Okay, you gotta wait. 
Yes, exactly. You Okay, you have to weigh in on this, though, Molly, because we kind of got into this conversation last week um, when you were gone on Friday in the office. Here's the, here's the statistic. We think it's higher. 42% of couples disagree on how to do this at home. Do you want to guess or you want me to just tell you? I'm going to guess it's either dishes or laundry. It's, it's how to load the dishwasher. Yes. So, yes. Yes. This is something that like even, you know, um, I'm dating again. That's something I'll say. But uh, here's something that I want. So look at this picture. Do you see how like the forks and the spoons are all face up, up? like the heads are up yeah. and the knives are down? To yeah. me, that's the correct way you load the utensils in the dishwasher. Knives down, everything else up. Me too. But some people look at the knives here. Knives up. That's horrible. But a lot of people uh, put all of them facing down. So I didn't know how you did it. I think they get crowded at the bottom. And so they don't get right. as clean than if they're facing up. But sharp knives, for example, have to go down. So and my problem with the forks is they stick in those little grooves and sometimes they're hard to pull out. Yeah. But I was told, like, I don't know if this is true, but this was amongst the conversation that I had was that it, it's not about getting them clean because they're not like sprayed clean. It's the heat that makes everything sort of fall off of them. So it doesn't matter what position they're in. I don't know if that's true. I should have looked that up. I'm just repeating what was said in my conversation. <laughs> it's, just, it's just hearsay. <laughs> You like that? Okay, so that's our sound off for today. It's the dishwasher. Utensils up or down? I want to know what you guys think. We'll have a chance to chat about that a little bit later in the show. See what the poll survey says. Survey <laughs> says it's the kind of thing that'll break couples up if you do it wrong. Yep. All right.